Hi guys, I am back today with the quick and easy steps to repair a rusty dishwasher rack. So before you do anything with your dishwasher rack, you're gonna wanna clean them really well. So I just like to run vinegar through my dishwasher, an empty dishwasher, run a hot water cycle with two cups of vinegar in the top of the dishwasher. That helps get those racks really clean. You could also just remove the racks and wash them in a sink full of warm soapy dishwater. Once your dishwasher racks are clean, it is time to remove them and start sanding away any of the rusty spots that you find on your dishwasher rack. Don't forget to do the top and the bottom of each rack because often you'll find rusty spots on the bottom of the rack you don't even notice are there. So sanding and repairing your dishwasher rack can save you hundreds of dollars. I think my racks, if I, if I had replaced both of them, would have been about $500 total which is a crazy amount of money, especially when a new dishwasher you can probably get for $1,000, $1,200. But my dishwasher racks aren't that rusty yet. I only really have rust at the top of the tines on the dishwasher rack. So at this point, my dishwasher rack functions exactly the same way it did when it was new. If I had really bad rust on my dishwasher tines and I thought I needed to remove some of them, I would probably just re replace those racks because if you start removing a bunch of tines from your dishwasher rack, it is gonna affect the function of your dishwasher and how well it's gonna hold the plates and dishes that you're gonna be washing. I am using regular coarse grit sandpaper on that little Gator micro zip in my hand. I'll put a link to that in the description below, but you can find it at any hardware store usually. You can just use regular sandpaper, your regular coarse grit sandpaper to sand it by hand, but I love this little micro zip because it's got a hard backing to the sandpaper, which makes it really easy for you to target the area that you wanna sand away and apply pressure without using your own muscle to do it as much. So the back of that sander is gonna apply pressure for you. So use your sandpaper to sand away all of the visible rust that you can see. And if you have to go a little bit deep into that latex that's covering a rusty spot, remove that latex with the sander as you go Make sure you get any of the bubbly, rusty spots removed and sand it back to the metal as much as possible. Again, don't forget to check the bottom of your dishwasher racks for little rusty spots too. You wanna nip everything in the bud before the rust gets a lot worse because it is just gonna keep growing if we don't patch it now. After you've finished sanding all of those rusty spots, it's time to move on to cleaning up all of the leftover loose rust with alcohol. So this is just regular rubbing alcohol and a cotton pad. I actually recommend using a paper towel or a rag instead with that alcohol, that cotton ball was leaving little bits of cotton ball behind. So all you need to do here is just make sure that you're cleaning away all of that rust dust with the alcohol and then let that air dry before we move on to the next step. So to cover the rusty spots that were on my dishwasher rack, I'm using a product called Re-Rack. You can find this at hardware stores or Amazon. Again, I'll put a link in the description in case you need it. It comes in a couple different colors. I think it's usually white and gray that you can find. And then I'm also using caps that are designed for the racks for your dishwasher rack. So the caps go over all of the tines or any tines that are rusty. I've decided to just cover every tine in my dishwasher to avoid having future rust spots show up in even on the tines that don't already have it. I am wearing a glove on the hand that might get any of that re-rack vinyl, li liquid vinyl on my hand, just because this starts to dry sort of like glue. And if it, it could possibly irritate your skin as well, but it also is gonna start drying there. So it's gonna be like dry glue on your hand if you're not careful. So think of it like super glue, you don't want it on your hands. So it, like I said, it dries sort of fast. So I could only really do two times at a time before it would start drying. So as you're working, just do one time, apply the liquid vinyl to the top of it, that re-rack product to the top of your tine and then slip the cap over it and that liquid vinyl is gonna act like a glue and it's also gonna cover the old rusty spot. But as you can see, this is a super easy product to use. You just apply it with that little brush exactly where you want it, sort of smooth it out and get it looking nice before it dries and then you can slip the cap on. If you're working on the bottom of the rack or an area that's not the tine, just make sure you apply the vinyl, smooth it out pretty quickly it is gonna start drying within probably 20 seconds, I would say it starts to harden up and dry a little bit. So you just wanna work on one small area at a time, get it looking nice. If you need to put layers of this product on to get a thicker finish with that, that product, 
Just be sure to let it completely dry between coats. I think it says on the container 30 minutes between coats and then you can apply another layer. So two important things you need to know about this re-rack product. And there's also competitors that it's exactly the same product. It's a liquid vinyl in a small bottle that you apply for dishwashers. But it does have a strong smell. So you wanna do this in a well-ventilated area, a larger room or outside if possible. And the second important thing that you need to know is that you should avoid using your dishwasher for at least 24 hours after applying this product. So it needs to cure completely. So it might look dry an hour later or 20 minutes later, really. It's gonna look dry, but it has to cure. So you want it to completely harden before you start using your dishwasher. So don't load anything into your dishwasher or run it through a wash cycle for at least 24 hours after using Re-Rack. And I wanna say that I definitely used two coats of the Re-Rack in any of the spots that weren't gonna be covered with, the t with those caps that I bought for the tines. So any of the lower parts of the rack or the edges of the rack that don't get those caps on them, definitely I used two coats of that Re-Rack. That just makes sure that I have a really thick layer of that coating to protect my rack from dishes banging against it, from silverware, plates, all of that stuff banging against it and wearing it away faster. So that thicker layer is going to be harder to wear away. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is all I did to get my dishwasher rack back to looking great. And now I don't get all of those weird little rust spots on the back of my plates that I've been dealing with for the last month, or year. And hopefully this vinyl coating, this protective coating on my dishwasher rack is going to keep it looking great for at least another three or four years. We'll see. This dish dishwasher is already 10 years old, so I'm really happy with how it's holding up so far. Let's try to hold on to it a little bit longer, right, and save some money. Okay, thanks guys. Don't forget to check out all of my other cleaning and home maintenance videos. See you next time.